I do not like the way that my dog Tyra is handling the death of my other dog Riggins at all. I am making big time judgments about her. Because she doesn't give a... I joked about this a couple of weeks ago. This dog has become a completely different, happier, (laughs) more calm down version of herself since Riggins is gone. And I am judging her. (laughs) (laughs) Well, hey, hey, hey. I hate this, man. That's what I was going to say. Before you judge, everybody handles grief differently. She's handling it like it's prom night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, and I mean, don't get it twisted. Like, oh, maybe she's just depressed. That's why she's calmed down. No, no. She was like this hyper needy dog before. And since he's left, she's just like, hey, what's up? It's almost like before he was passing. He's like, look, I want to let you know. Things got to change around here when I'm gone. Aww. <laughs> right? And she listened to him. But she's, ha- I mean, her whatever little tail she has, she's yeah. an English bulldog, is wagging all the time. She's meeting me at the door. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. Uh, and she never did that before? No, man. <laughs> and now, like, when there are people in the room, she's just okay. not, she's just a completely different Better version of herself since Riggins is gone, and I don't like it. No, can I give you a different way to look at it? Because this is all about mindset. What if she never wanted to step on Riggins' toes? Mm. So she always let him greet you at the door, and she let him <laughs> nah, do all it. those things. No, nah, she was the alpha, man. She was, she was whooping his ass but quite a bit. She's, <laughs> she's trying to step into his shoes and fill his shoes. Yeah, I guess there are some dogs that are designed better to be, it's a personality, it's her wiring, mm-hmm. I guess, right? She mm-hmm. was designed to be more of a one-on-one dog, and I notice it every single day now, man. If anything, wow. it proves her love for you because she's stepping up so you don't feel sad because she wants to meet you at the door. Okay, we can go with that. Yeah, she loves you so much. She knows you're <laughs> impacted by Riggins' absence. So she's like, I'm going to meet him at the door. I'm going to be the best dog ever. I'm not going to be annoying. I'm going to be chill. He is not going to regret making me part of his family. I'm going to make him feel love. <laughs> I, she loves you. I mean, it was like instant. Like, Yeah, no, I, w- I would be pissed too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just a little judgy. Yeah, like, if, she's kind of being a bee. If, yeah, the if, bee is being a bee. The bees, if, if Leroy would have done that after Parker Jones yeah. passed away, I, I would have been like... <laughs> You need to get your act together. Right. Like you need to show some sadness and some respect for your brother who's no longer here. Well, it was like instantaneous too. Like I had to put this dog down. It was like one of the most painful things I ever had to do, and I can't even remember what day it was. Maybe it was a Wednesday. And like as soon as he was like out of the house, she's like, "Oh, uh, it's mine now." It, yeah, he's like, "Oh, look at that pillow. He's laying. I don't know where he is, but I'll go over there." And it's like been her favorite pillow ever since. Oh. Like as soon as he was out of wow. The house. See, that's the problem. It's immediate. Like she could have waited two weeks right. before you start acting like that. <laughs> no manners. Okay, the pillow. No thing, etiquette. The pillow thing makes me feel a little bit differently. Yeah. I don't even know that she knows he's gone. <laughs> I'm serious. She man. knows. She knows. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, it's hard not to judge the hard wiring of your dog. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just think she's kind of mean. <laughs> she's not mean. <laughs> a little insensitive. She's just callous. Herself. <laughs> callous. <laughs> Can dogs be callous? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Because she is, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cheyenne, good morning. You're on the Bird Show. Hi. Good morning. Hi. So, um, I think Tyra might not be competing for attention anymore, and that's probably why she's not anxiety-ridden anymore. Yeah, that could Maybe be it's it. It's that simple. Yeah, I guess that's it. Because, yeah, she is just the best version of herself right now. She found Test, new life. Yeah, test it out. Bring it. <laughs> it is, that's a terrible way to put it. Is, yes. mm-hmm. is it. Test it out and bring, an, like, not don't get another dog, but just bring another dog in the house and see how she acts. And, uh, and, okay. and test her and test her demeanor. Okay. That's not a bad test. And, and then if you see it, be like, yeah, she's just a single dog. You're just like, messed up. Single dog man. home. That just is messed, pretty messed up. up. All right, so what do you need advice on? You can always email us at thebirtshow.com like this Burt Show listener did. And she needs advice on how to break up with her fiance. And you would think it's super easy, except they've got all sorts of finances that are tied together and she's not exactly sure what to do. Hey, Burt Show. I'm a loyal podcast listener. I really appreciate that you all are super straightforward. And that being said, I really need your help. You asked for it. (laughs) I'm currently living with my fiance. We've been living together for about four years and have pretty much been dating the whole time. We got engaged a year and a half ago. And since then, I really haven't been feeling as connected to her. I still love her, but I don't really like her. 
We clash on so many topics and I find it hard to have a conversation with her. We just often interpret a situation totally differently. I also have someone else who I am more in like with. We have been friends for around a year, but our relationship started in an odd way. This person was going to be my fiance and I's third in a poly relationship. That didn't end up working out because my fiance didn't get along well with the friend. So we agreed to be friends and never addressed how we felt about each other. That is awkward. Well, we ended up going drinking together and ended up talking through how we felt. Turns out we both really want to pursue a relationship with the other person. I want to break up with my fiance, but our finances are completely tied. Furthermore, she keeps talking about how we will be together for the rest of our lives. At this point, I don't want that. I still feel her, I still feel for her, but I just don't enjoy being around her anymore. I don't want to lead her on. Can you please help? Uh, you are leading her on right now. Yeah. Um, look, the as a guy that's gone through a divorce, the, these things work them, themselves out. Um, I know that you feel like you're quote unquote stuck, and I really hate that because most people, the majority of people, aren't stuck. Um, you just gotta make a hard decision. It's it's not gonna be easy, but no. you're not stuck. So I would say you owe it to her to be your authentic self. And well, he owes it to himself too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And get out and worry about the finances later. Yeah, I think this is one of those situations where the situation is just hard. That's really all it is. It's not impossible. You're not stuck, like you said. It's a hard decision to make, and so a lot of the times you'll kind of push it down a road or run from it. But at the end of the day, figure the financial situation out, whatever that means, and cut your losses and go with your separate ways. Imagine, That's it. Imagine finding out, like, your significant other was only there because of the finances. Like, the love was gone. The yeah. like was gone. Oof. Um, which is almost, to me, more uh, as important as love. Imagine them just, like, going through the motions just because of the finances. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would hurt so bad. Now, um, I'm trying, not, not that, like, um, sex matters, whether it's male or female or any of that, but if it was... If it is a woman telling me this, I would be like, okay, you need to go ahead and open your own checking account because I would be concerned about him not taking the news well that she wanted to break up the engagement and him doing something uh, him doing something rash with their finances. It, it, and maybe because I have a friend who went through a divorce and her ex-husband did that. So uh, if your finances are joint right now, I would go ahead and create your own individual checking account and savings account. That way that is there so you can immediately split everything as soon as you can. And he, he doesn't have or she doesn't have all access to just like all of a sudden spend it or move it somewhere else. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched, you can get more of The Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform, wherever you listen to your podcast. Podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.